Good morning, everyone. How are we doing this Monday morning? I know I'm usually not on a Monday morning, so this is um, a rarity, uh, but I thought I would start the week off with a bang um, and get um, get some projects out to you guys. Um, I have like so many projects that I can't wait to share with you. Uh, and so I'm just like, okay, I, you know, have like little like bucket totes um, with, with each little project in it. And, um, and so I wanted to clean it off my desk. So I thought now is the time uh, to jump on. Um, also, it is a new month tomorrow. And uh, that means I need more cards. And you guys know how much I struggle with masculine birthday cards and uh, I never have them on stash. Um, so that is what I'm going to be making today in hopes to um, bulk up my stash and uh, not have to like panic. Um, so I hope you guys can hear me. I know uh, last week I was having um, some problems with my microphone and, um, and uh, I found out my microphone died. So that's why um, you lost lost my, lost your hearing. No, it's not lost your hearing. <laughs> lost the ability to be able to hear me because my microphone died. So I have a new microphone um, today and I hope it is working. So give me a shout out if you can hear me. Good morning. Hello. Um, are you excited about masculine cards too? Are you worried about this winter storm that's coming? Um, did you have a great weekend? <laughs> Any of those uh, are good options uh, for you to uh, just give me a shout out so that I know that we are all good and um, and then I'll get I'll get moving forward. So yeah, just uh, let me know if you can or cannot hear me uh, and hopefully then we can move forward. So I actually have a million and one of these cards uh, pre-cut and ready um, as my stash. I will not be doing all of these <laughs> uh, on the live today. Um, I think I'm going to do like five or so um, just to chat with you guys and, uh, and get some cards done. So we're starting off with a Mossy Meadow card base. And I went with Mossy Meadow and, um, I'm going to get my elbow in this ink, um, and vanilla. So I kind of went back and forth on whether I wanted white or vanilla, but, um, but yeah, I went with vanilla for it. I thought it was just a little bit more like rustic. Good morning, Colleen. Oh, it's working out great. That's awesome. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Yeah, I um I just always struggle with masculine cards because I love flowers, I love pink, I love bling, I love ribbon. Um, so usually my go-to for a masculine card is always like twine. Um, whether it's um this linen thread or like a baker's twine or something like that. Um, I'm just I'm a big like ribbon fan, I guess. Because after all, like, I can't do rhinestones. Although Stampin' Up! has really come out with a lot of um, embellishments that would work for a masculine card. Like the black matte dots. Um, or um, those new ones that are in, um, in the new catalog that are like white, vanilla, black, and gray, I think it is. Um, those are awesome for masculine cards as well. Good morning, Carol from Chile, Connecticut. Did you guys get the storm that you were supposed to over the weekend? Um, I thought there was like a winter storm that was headed out, out east um, over the weekend. So I hope you're not like buried in snow or anything. It's actually supposed to be 47 today. So, um, yeah, welcome to the Midwest. 47 today. We're supposed to be getting rain tomorrow and then switching over to sleet and um and ice on Wednesday and then into snow on Thursday. And uh a lot of things I've read 
aren't even predicting what we're going to get because they don't know how much of each based on what the temperature is going to be. So Claire should be fine to go to school tomorrow because um, I don't think the rain is even supposed to start until like the afternoon or evening. Um, but yeah, Thursday, not looking good. That's crazy. You got eight inches. Eight inches is a lot, um, I feel like. But so I'm doing way more than five because I got distracted. Um, I feel like eight inches is quite a bit. Although, besides the fact that I really don't want Claire to miss school on Thursday, um, just because, like, she just loves school and um, I love the break. <laughs> and it helps, you know, get her out of the house and stuff, too. Because some of these days, it's been so stinking cold. I'm like, we are not going for a walk. It's nine degrees out and no amount of bundling up is going to make me want to get on a scooter and scoot around the, um, the, the neighborhood. So, um, yeah, we're not doing it. <laughs> okay. So now here are all of a foot and a half. Ugh. Um, here are all of our card bits. We have, first we have designer series paper. And this designer series paper is actually that Tasteful Textures. So there's so many different like wood grain images. Um, let me see if I have, I think I grabbed like a couple different ones. Nope, that's the same one. But there's a couple different like wood grain um, prints in that pack. So you could really do a ton of these. As you can see, I have a ton um, planned. Here, let me see if I have more in this pack. So it looks like I pretty much just did the two sheets um, of the wood grain. So that's the front, that's the back of these two sheets. So I cut out a ton of those. And this piece is just going to go across. Um, I did, let me verify the measurement of this, but I'm pretty sure it's like two by four, three by four, maybe four. Yeah, three by four, which is divisible by 12. Um, and that's why it's so fabulous so that we can really maximize our 12 by 12 designer series paper. And so I kind of put this like, you can do it like up a little high. You can do it in the center. You really can add, um, this piece of, of wood grain, like even down low. I'll do a little bit of everything just, just to mix it up and have some fun with it. Can you guys believe January is almost over? I'm pumped. Like January just always seems so long and slow and I don't know, uneventful usually. And maybe that's because you're coming off of Christmas. Um, I'm not really sure what it is. But I think it's also because it's the dead of winter and I'm always like, okay, well, we're like fully in winter. There's no light at the end of the tunnel like there is in, you know, February and March. There really isn't in February, but February is a short month. And so I always feel like February goes fast um, and I'm super pumped about the Olympics. So I feel like that's going to keep me entertained in February. Um, so, yeah, we'll just kind of see. And I know like now with um, Alex's birthday in March, I'm like, Laura, you need to start planning and, and getting things done. Um, I'm super excited about his birthday. Mostly because I found these super cute um, shirts on Pinterest and a friend of mine, super fabulous, um, is, uh, is going to make them for us. So they're going to have little shamrocks on it and all of us are going to have one of the shirts. So I think that's probably all I'm going to say for now. And then I'll show you guys the shirts whenever they're done. as like a fun little like reveal. Um, but yeah, so he's going to have his birthday shirt and um, the rest of us are all going to match. And I can't wait. It's going to be so cute. Okay. Oh, and I totally just realized I've already um, done these cards different than the sample. I know. How crazy is it that he's going to be a year old already? Like, my mind is just blown. Like, I just keep thinking, yeah, remember how miserable you were just a year ago thinking it would never end? And now here you are a year out from that. 
Um, and as always, like, you know, I was just beyond miserable and everything. Um, and I was like, this is awful. And now I'm already like, really? Was it that bad? Like it was, it was really that bad. Um, so I still definitely have that feeling, uh, but it has lessened. <laughs> With Claire, it was kind of like, really? I was super pregnant. Um, I was, wasn't was ever really miserable with her. I felt amazing with her. Um, and, you know, like not really like traumatized by it at all. Him, I think I'm still kind of traumatized. <laughs> so now I'm actually using um, this tree stamp. This is from the Amazing Silhouettes stamp set. So I'm using the tree. I've used the butterfly. You guys saw that fabulous sample with the butterfly um, that I did, like, what was it? Like maybe two weeks ago now. And um, and then I haven't actually used this one yet, but this one would work really well with this same like layout and idea and stuff. I know a year, like it's just, it's crazy how time flies. Like it's so true how they're like, you know, the days are long, but the months are short. And, um, and, and it's so true. Some of the days are just so, so long, um, ridiculously long, especially whenever you get up at the crack of dawn. Um, but yeah. And then like, before you know it, a year has gone by or before you know it, January is over. So, so crazy. So this is one of those like textured, um, stamps. So it's going to have your like darker and lighter spots on it. And it's going to have that like where it almost looks like cheese. Well, very fine cheesecloth because cheesecloth is quite like big squares kind of. But like you can see it's like textured. It's not smooth and solid. Um, it sort of has like a, a textured look. And it also has that variation in color. That's not because um, my ink pad is off. It's because... Um, it's because the stamp is like that. Like, I don't know how well you can see this, um, on the stamp, but like, you can see that like, it's darker closer to the middle and then it's like lighter here on the edge. And then sometimes even the very edge can go like dark again. Um, so, so yeah, it just kind of depends on that. But you can kind of see that variation in color just looking at the stamp. Okay. So there's that. And then next is layering that onto some early espresso. And I just did, as always, um, a quarter inch bigger. The one thing I'm hoping that this storm doesn't affect is um, mailing out the February online card class kits. Like, I'm hoping to get them in the mail today, but I'm hoping they, like, move along and out of the way um, and get where they need to be before the storm hits all the areas. So um, if you are wanting one of those kits, then definitely sign up today so I can get yours in the mail. Uh, I did leave a link in the description uh, for that heart and home card class. And I'll give you guys a little heads up. There's actually six cards in this, in the February. It's not this month because it's not February yet. Um, in this month's kit. So instead of just the normal five, I couldn't stop there. And there's actually six. Okay, so... On the original sample, I actually went around the designer series paper with um, with my twine. And uh, this one, I uh, put down my designer series paper already and, um, and didn't put the twine on. So I actually think I might put the twine on the bottom here by the, um, by the tree. And you can do a bow if you want, but you could also do a... Um, just a knot if you find the bow to be a little less masculine or you can call it less masculine or you can call it despising bows. <laughs> I know so many of you guys are like, we have to do a bow um, and you're not a huge fan of ribbons and bows. Um, so 
You can call it whatever you want. Bows aren't masculine or I just don't like making bows because both of those work. I feel like my bow wanted to go up instead of down. So I'm just yanking the pieces down. And I think I actually did everything flat on this one. I actually think I'm going to do um, dimensionals now that I put this up on, um, on some twine. After all, I'm sure you guys were pretty um, surprised that I didn't do dimensionals at all in this card. I don't even know what I'm doing. Like, I meant to just do like two in the middle, but turned out to be four. Five, actually. Whoop. There we go. And then I'm just gonna trim off my little tails here. And like, really, you could always leave this, um, leave this card as is and use it for any occasion. You know, stamp a greeting on the inside uh, when you go to use it. And, you know, you could put thinking of you, you could put happy birthday, you could put get well. Um, you know, I think it would work really well for any um, occasion like that. I wonder what it would look like if you did the tree in like colors. You know, like if you did it in like a pink, like I know it's not a cherry blossom card, but what if you did it in like a pink or um, or something... I don't really know what other color to say for like spring. And then like, you know, fall, you maybe even did, hold on. Brad is at the grocery store and um, uh, Brad's at the grocery store and we have like a app on our phone to have our grocery list so we can both add to it or look at it like instead of writing it on paper. And then when we go to the store, we forget it. Um. And so he's at the grocery store marking them all off the list. And my phone is blowing up saying that he's marking them all off the list. But yeah, then you could always do, you could even do like a brighter green um, for like maybe summertime or do like, you know, deep reds and yellows and stuff like that for, um, for fall or use the baby wipe technique uh, where you create like an ink pad with all those colors all smeared together. That would be super pretty too. So I will say the knot looks a little like minimal, whereas like the bow looks a little bit like thicker um, or, you know, more like stand out. And then of course this one I did with the bow around the designer paper still. But we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add that greeting. And that greeting I actually got from the um, Enjoy the Moment stamp set. And with this stamp set, I just use that happy birthday because um, it's nice and like skinny and simple. And I always have scraps of, um, of paper left over, you know, whenever I'm, um, cutting like these pieces and things for the inside or for layering, I always have these long skinny scrap, long skinny scraps. That's kind of a hard word to say. Long skinny scrap. Um, and we're just going to ink it up in that mossy meadow again.
I feel like I'm on a roll, which is why I keep going. So now I have a whole bunch of greetings. I, like I said, I felt like I was super on a roll um, with nailing it. And so I didn't want to stop that. And then like I just did like a little angle. So it's straight by the Y and then it's angled by the H. Straight by the Y, angled by the H. Just for a little, like, the angle is just for a little fun. You could always do banner tips if you wanted. Um, a little, like, tip on that. For banner tips, if you didn't use the punch, you could always go cut straight up in the center and then cut from the corner to that center piece. So there's your little banner tips. And so you can see how many greetings. This one I did kind of mess up. Um, I think it's because that piece of the... Um, Cardstock was kind of bubbled, and so it hit the stamp as I went down um, differently. So because I actually added these with dimensionals, like this one, again, I just added flat. Because I added these with dimensionals, I'm actually going to put a dimensional on one end and adhesive on the other end. And the reason I'm going to do that is so that it's like level with the greedy or level with the tree. So it's, you know, it's smooth and flat here with the tree because the tree is already popped up. And then there's a dimensional over here because I don't want my, um, my greeting to like fall and go down um, and be like a little hill. I want it to be like level all the way across. But I didn't want to put a dimensional on this end because then it would be like double dimensional. I hope that all makes sense. So it's like nice and, and level across. And I did this one like up in that corner. Um, but you could also, you know, move that around and do it differently. I really struggled with how I wanted to do this greeting because like I almost wanted to do like a greeting like right on the cardstock, like right here. But then I didn't think it would show that much. But then I didn't want to take away from the tree and put it like smack dab on top of it. Um, and so I really struggled with like where I wanted it and how I wanted it to still pop, but also like not, not like, um, fall into the rest and not be like noticeable. So there we have like three sort of different designs, um, with how I did, um, that card. And that's just like, um, you know, Kind of, you could always mix it up a little bit based on how you prefer doing it. If you don't like making bows, then you could do the knot. If you don't like that, then you can always do something different. If you adhere it down too soon and um, need to mix it up differently, you can wrap it around there. Another option that you could always do is um, simply take, take the twine, make a bow, and then take a mini glue dot and you know, well, here, let me, let me do this one really quickly. One of the other big tips that I have for the bow is with the twine being so thin, I always do a double knot to get it like secure around. And then I do my bow. Um, for ribbons and stuff, I don't always do that because the ribbon is already bulky. So by the time I do a double knot and then I do a bow on top of that, you're like talking about like a nice thick, you know, not, and, um, and I don't want that. So, um, I don't typically do a double knot with ribbon, but with the twine, then I don't have a problem with it being, um, too thick because it's such a thin twine, um, that it's all good. So there, I just did the happy birthday. And then now we're going to take a mini glue dot. 
and I'm just going to put it like right here. There we go. So like if you didn't want to tie it around or didn't want to use that much because you're going to make 500 of these like I am, um, then you could also just do like that little bow there. So let me know which one you guys like the best. Do you like the single bow? Do you like the bow wrapped around the tree? The knot wrapped around the tree? Or the bow wrapped around the card? lots of options. And I mean, it's all really the same concept. It's just kind of changing up the ribbon a little bit differently um, based on what your preference is for creating or how much ribbon you might have on hand. Um, and then the other thing is I have um, a piece of vanilla that's just going to go on the inside. You can always uh, choose a greeting to be able to stamp there with it. You know, we could also always um, stamp that... Um, this greenery piece on the inside too, like even like in the corner or take the tree and do um, a little bit in the corner. Let me grab a scrap piece of paper. Although I hope it doesn't come out like looking like a weird bush in the bottom. Um, Yeah, it kind of looks like a weird bush in the corner. So I'll probably just flip that one over. <laughs> but yeah, you could always do just a little bit like that. You could also maybe do just less. Like if I just did that, that might be a little bit better. I don't know. Do you like the, the bush, the partial tree, or do you like just a smidge of it? to give just a hint of color. So many options, so many fun ways to do this card. You like the bow wrapped around the tree? Yeah, I'm not really sure which one I like. I actually like this one more than I thought I would and it's really simple. So I don't know if that's what I'm gonna do for most of them just cause it's um, quicker and simpler. But I almost think I like it just wrapped around the tree versus wrapped all the way around the card too. So yeah. So many fun ways to do this. I hope you guys got some inspiration for doing masculine cards um, in case you need to make a whole bunch of masculine cards like I do. And yeah, I'm gonna go um, get started on making more of these. Oh, I will show you. This is kind of like a mistake card that I did because, um, you know, not every card comes out perfect. So I did this one. I stamped it with a different birthday greeting. Um, and then I took the... Um, the, uh, the water painter and like colored it in um, to sort of add color to the birthday. But like when it bled the color, it actually made it like almost lime green. I'm not really sure why um, bled out mossy meadow looks so lime bright green. Um, and then I felt like it just needed something more. And so I added just the twine to the corners um, just for a little bit of texture and, and foofy. Um, but I'm not so sure I really like this card. Like, I don't know. There's just something about it that kind of makes me like meh on it. Um, but yeah, here's another option in case you, uh, in case you do like it. Uh, I just, I don't know. There's something about it that I'm just not falling in love with. Um, but a great way to use up scraps of your twine as well on just like little pieces like that. So yeah, I hope you guys got some fun inspiration for that. Don't forget the um, February um, online card class is February 11th. That's a Friday night. And um, and I do still have card kits available so you can get signed up with those. Uh, if you look at the description box, then you'll see uh, a link for that. Or you can always put in the comments, like send me more information and, um, and I'll send you a direct link uh, to your comment if you can't find the, the link in the description box. Um, and I hope to have the kits going out in the mail today so that they can try to beat this storm um, and all goes well with it uh, getting there. So I hope you guys all have a wonderful day. Happy end of January. Love, hugs, and prayers to all of you guys. Stay safe, stay healthy, and stay warm. Um, have a great day.